also discuss about the tuple structs where you can use struct color or struct point you know you can relate this to real world situations so color is used for the image processing things and for point is used to actually not no, uh, do a spatial notation of each and every point in the screen or even in case of a mathematical representation you can actually use the struct point and color now the point about this is if you if you are familiar with image processing and you know with these two structs that is a struct point and a struct color uh, along with a 2d array which contains these data can represent an image because we know each and every point that contains the uh, different kind of color so color could be represented using i32 and similarly struct point would be i32 okay and this is how we create an object that black, that black is equal to color 000, zero, zero at origin equal to point 000, zero, zero. so it's a tuple struct creation in tuple structs we do not specify the name of entities or data items what we do is we just specify the data type and the number of uh, data that needs to be placed into the struct i think that is clear now you also have a different struct that is a unit struct this is not very important because usually you might not be using a unit struct uh, because it usually comes with an impl trait now a struct with no fields is called as a unit struct so it looks like this you just uh, type the struct keyboard and place a name okay and that's it so you do not have a data or any kind of entity inside a unit like struct it's just a struct keyword and then a name so it can be useful when you need not implement a trait on some type but do not have any data that you want to store in the type itself okay so that is uh, usually happening with unit like structs when you have to implement a trait on some type but you do not have any data that you want to store in the type itself so that is a unit like struct do not have to uh, think more about unit like struct. basically you create a struct and then place a name no data and id that is the idea now yeah we have seen a uh, similar examples with uh, you can create any kind of struct. this is another example that is struct rectangle with two different things so what what comes to your mind when you think about a rectangle you have a width and a height what is what is the situation if you are using a circle so in case of a circle the thing that comes to my mind is radius right so uh, that is the idea now you can use functions to work with these kinds of structs so rather than passing just some values we can pass the struct itself to a function so that it returns some value okay now this is what is going to happen the idea will be to let's see i'll just show you an example i think there i do not have an example here but obviously you will see okay so yeah i'm going to create a struct named a rectangle and what are the two things that comes to my mind is width which is u8 because it is always positive and uh, height or like say length which is also u8 okay and now i want to create a variable of that particular data type so like say let r is equal to rectangle rectangle I want to make sure my type errors are not happening always. Yeah, so width is, uh, let's say we will give the value 4. And for length, I will choose the value 5. Okay, now you want to find the area, right? So print ln, the area of the rectangle is and let's put this here and yeah so area of and rectangle so let's say and r so what i am doing i am passing the reference to this struct into my function why am i not passing the entire struct into the function and rather by using a reference we have discussed much about these things in the previous session i have already told you that when you pass something into a function then you cannot get it back okay so you need to pass a reference to the uh, object into the function so that you can actually uh, get it back into the main function so the idea is to create an area function 
that actually takes let's say r which is of the data type and rectangle and rectangle okay and it gives me an output that is u8 because it would be an area right so it takes width and it takes length should multiply these things and then it will return me at area and area should be u8 or like we have given both as u8 so i think he would prefer a u32 because sometimes the size may overflow okay now what we need to return so we need to return we need to return the r dot width that is the entirety star r dot length right so that is what we need to return and now we have defined the function we have defined the struct we have placed the derived debug trait and we have created the variable for that particular struct and we have a print message to show the area aspect so i think we are good to go like see if we have any errors okay there is an error what it says is convert a u8 into a u32 so expected u32 found u8 okay so the data type is not changing so we we'll just place the u8 here and let's see okay now it runs well and we can execute yeah so you can see the output as the area of the rectangle is 20 so what it does it creates a struct we are taking its individual entities the width and the length and we are multiplying them and we are returning the area of the rectangle i think the idea is clear you can you can you can try out many examples as you want uh, create the same for circle uh, or for some other kind of calculation for marks you create marks you uh, define the average marks uh, like define the median of marks anything can be done by creating a function now we'll be discussing something more interesting why creating these functions individually when you can actually link these functions with the struct themselves so that is what we will see in the next session so as you can see i am uh, passing the reference make sure you only pass the reference if you if you pass by mistake if you pass the entire struct then you cannot get its components at a later period of time in the program i think the idea is clear from the last session yeah so that is all i guess so the instance is passed this is important as we pass the reference Thank you.